What is up everybody, From Boys coming back at you today with a different kind of video, not a vlog. Uh, today we're going to be doing a how-to video on um, how to install a piggyback ECU. Um, this bike's had one, but it's not been hooked up. Um, I just wanted to get it back from the shop uh, to, you know, just make sure it's running just the same as how I got it. Uh, and today we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to install that on the Jixxer 750. Alright, so on the Jixxer, in front of the tank right here, you're going to have this bolt and this bolt you're going to want to take out right here and then the tank is going to fold up um there's in the back right here underneath the seat there's going to be a um like a it looks like a coat hanger but it's straight that you use to hold up the tank but i left mine at my dad's house so you just want to use something to prop the tank up so you have access underneath the tank so i'll get back to you guys once i'm done with that stuff one step that i forgot is you're going to want to remove your rider seat uh, there's going to be two bolts, one right there and one directly on the other side. So you're going to want to remove your seats, put that somewhere, and then prop up the tank. You go ahead and take out those two bolts right there. So we'll get back to you in a second. So I got my tank propped up with the rear passenger seat right now. And now you can get a look in where the TBIs are and the intake and everything. First, back here, here's the Yoshi uh, engine management system right here. Um, it's going to be mounted in the back and there's going to be a wire that runs all the way up the bike, all the way to right here. Okay, so right here you got the splitter right here. Okay, it's got a lot of prongs in it. I don't know if you can see those. But there's going to be way, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but way back down, my camera in there, down, yeah, right here where my hands are there's going to be two uh, connectors that are connected together. What you're going to want to do is undo those connectors, and then one of them is going to be fit in the male side, and one of them is going to fit in the female side. So basically, you're just splitting the line, so it's running from here, up here, back up to the ECU, back down through here, and then to the bike's ECU. So I'll get back to you guys once I'm done doing that. All right, so I got the wires hooked up, and then if you can see this white one right here, that's also going to be um, a splitter. So you're going to want to unhook that, and there's another thing in there. But there's how it should look. See, there's one right there, and there's one right there. And they're connecting to their independent um, wires and running back up there. So there's that one. And it's actually that one right there. Okay, you see that? See those two wires, those two white wires? That, that is going to be one kind of in the back right towards your bike. Um, so you're going to want to connect those two connectors up, and you can go ahead and put your tank back down. Ow. And then you're going to want to come back here, and this is the inline wire right here. Okay, and you're going to notice there's like a little black wire. You're going to want to run that over into your ground. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to know how to ground this out. Um, so that's that. I have this zip tie on here. I don't know why. I'm going to have to cut that off. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> with the Yosh engine management system, Basically, I'll tell you if you're running lean or if you're running rich. Um, so what you're going to want to do just to make sure it works, where do I put my key? You want to locate your keys, and you're going to want to turn on your bike to make sure it still works. There we go. And that light was on, but here I, I got to start the bike. It's still a bit cold. I got to let it warm up. Lights on, telling you that the system is working. And once I let this warm up a little bit, I'll give it a couple of revs, and it'll actually move up to make it richer when you're giving it throttle. So, so the whole point of this this piggyback ECU is that when you're when you're giving it throttle, it's going to make the mixture more rich to give you a bit more power, and then when you're just at idle, it's going to be a little leaner, so you're not using as much gas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my phone over the ECU and then give it some throttle and you'll see how it gets a lot richer when, uh, when I'm on the throttle.